Let's start by assuming two pairs of straight lines of the form given in the problem statement. The first pair of straight lines is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus lambda times in brackets x square plus y square is equal to 0. And the second pair of straight lines is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus mu times in brackets x square plus y square is equal to 0. The first equation can be written as a plus lambda times x square plus 2hxy plus b plus lambda times y square is equal to 0. Let's denote it by 1. And the second equation can be written as a plus mu times x square plus 2hxy plus b plus mu times y square is equal to 0. Let's denote this equation by 2. Now recall that the joint equation of the bisectors of the lines represented by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0 is given by x square minus y square divided by a minus b is equal to xy upon h. Using this result, the joint equation of the bisectors of the pair of straight lines given by equation 1 is x square minus y square divided by a plus lambda minus in brackets b plus lambda is equal to xy upon h. On the left hand side in the denominator lambda cancels and the equation of the bisectors simplifies to x square minus y square divided by a minus b is equal to xy upon h. Let's denote this by 3. Similarly, the joint equation of the bisectors of lines given by equation 2 is x square minus y square divided by a plus mu minus in brackets b plus mu is equal to xy upon h. Mu cancels on the left hand side in the denominator and this equation simplifies to x square minus y square divided by a minus b is equal to xy upon h. Let's denote this by 4. Notice that equation 3 is the same as equation 4. Therefore, the bisectors of the two pairs of straight lines are the same. Now, we plot this information on the Cartesian plane. We are given a pair of straight lines represented by equation 1. And equation 3 represents the bisectors of lines given by equation 1. Therefore, the angle between the bisector and lines 1 is identical. Let's assume that it is equal to theta. Similarly, we are given a pair of straight lines represented by equation 2. And their bisectors are given by equation 4, which is the same as equation 3. If we assume that the angle between lines represented by equation 2 and their bisector is equal to alpha, then it follows that theta minus alpha is the angle between lines 1 and lines 2. Clearly, the lines given by equation 1 are equally inclined to lines represented by equation 2, both of those angles being equal to theta minus alpha. And this is the required result.